Hello everyone, welcome to session 1 of new chapter classification of elements. Today we will be learning to define element, atom, atomic structure and atomic mass. We will also learn to write symbol and draw atomic structure of first 20 elements. There are substances, if we go on breaking them, at the last point, if you check still you can find same substance it means after breaking it multiple times at the last point too you are finding the same substance it means when you break these substances you cannot find new substance so such substance is known as element so that's why definition of element is the substance which cannot produce new substance after its decomposition is known as element and since we cannot get new substance after its decomposition, so we can consider it as the pure rest form of substance. And in total, there are 118 elements in the periodic table, out of which 91 are natural and the rest of them are artificial. So some example of elements are hydrogen, oxygen, gold, silver, iron, copper, etc. where if you go on decomposing you cannot find new substances. You check any substances around us then if you go on breaking it then at the last point you will find the smallest particle and that very smallest particle is called atom of that substance. So definition of atom is atom is defined as smallest particle of an element and what does it do? It takes part in chemical reaction. So atom is also made up of three particles, uh, which you can see electron. This is electron. Better you can see here electron and proton and neutron. So atoms, uh, you know, they are made up of three particles known as electron, proton and neutron. And they are collectively known as subatomic particles. So let's uh, discuss one by one. Electron. So here you can see electron. Uh, what does the electron uh, does it, uh, what does it do is it revolves around the nucleus of an atom so that's why what you can say and it carries negative charge so electron is negatively charged subatomic particle and it revolves around the nucleus nucleus means center of atom around the nucleus in an orbit is known as electron and its mass is 1 by 1837 of hydrogen atom means you, it, you take one hydrogen atom and you divide that hydrogen atom into 1,837 parts and that out of that one part is equivalent to one electron. That means uh, hydrogen atom is itself the lightest atom and you are dividing into these many parts. Out of these many parts, one part is equivalent to electron. That means electron mass is negligible. And electron is represented by e to the power minus. Here minus represent negative charge. In the semi-proton, proton here you can see it lies at the center of atom, and center of atom is called nucleus, and it carries positive charge. That's why what we say is proton is positively charged subatomic particle, and where it is present inside the nucleus of atom. Nucleus is the center of atom, and its mass is equivalent to one hydrogen. So mass of one proton is equal to one hydrogen atom. Similarly, neutron. Neutron also uh, lies at the center of the atom, that is nucleus. So, and it doesn't carry any charge. So, it is chargeless subatomic particle, and it is present inside the nucleus of atom. And its mass is also equivalent to one hydrogen atom. So, naturally, all the atom, you know, they have equal number of proton and electron number. Neutron can be equal or can be unequal also. But uh, protons and e electrons are always equal in natural condition. Some terms uh, let us know, like atomic number. So every atom has equal number of electrons and protons, as we said before, and that very number is called atomic number, and it is represented by Z. So here you can see in oxygen, oxygen has got uh, eight electron and eight proton. That's why atomic number of oxygen is eight. Now next is atomic mass. So if you want to find the mass of atom, then since atom is made up of electron, proton, and neutron, so to find the mass of atom, 
actually uh, we need to add proton neutron and electron but as we discussed before the mass of electron is very small so it is almost negligible that's why to find the mass of atom what we do we just add proton and neutron that is why the sum of protons and neutrons present in an atom is known as atomic mass or weight and its symbol is capital A so and its unit is AMU atomic mass unit so what do we do we, to, know, to find the mass of atom we just add proton and neutron number and example is like oxygen has 8 protons and 8 neutrons so that's why atomic mass of oxygen is 16 AMU symbol so all the time writing full form of atoms uh, uh, are really difficult so that's why uh, we have created the short uh, symbolic form of atom and that symbolic representation of element is known as symbol and there are three ways to write symbol of elements the first way is writing first letter of element example hydrogen the first letter of hydrogen is capital H oxygen first letter is O and carbon first letter is C another way of writing symbol is taking uh, one letter along with first letter of element example helium so we have taken capital H and one of the letter so E in lithium capital L plus I magnesium capital M and G and in zinc capital Z and M so here we have taken two letters out of which first letter we have taken from each element and along with that one of the any letter is taken here to make the symbol of these elements similarly another way is taking the latin name of those elements example sodium the latin name of sodium is natrium so from the natrium symbol of sodium is Na similarly potassium uh, latin name is calcium so symbol is K silver uh, argentum latin name is argentum so that's why az copper uh, latin name is cuprum so okay, symbol is cu gold aurum so au iron symbol is uh, i mean latin name is ferrum so symbol is fe so whenever you write symbol then always remember uh, which one is capital and which one is small letter like example whenever you write only first letter of element then there is no doubt all letters will be uh, capital but whenever you write uh, you take first let to first letter plus a, um, another letter of the element then first letter is always capital and second letter is small uh, in the same way in the uh, latin name too the first letter must be always capital and second name must be followed by a small letter now here let's go to details of first 20 elements so here Z is atomic number so 1 2 3 till 10 we have taken the elements and these are the elements name and these are the symbol name symbol of those elements electron and proton why we have given same color is because always electron and protons are equal in number neutron number and this is atomic mass how do you get atomic mass by adding proton and neutron so by adding proton neutron number so in this way let's check the details of first 20 elements so atomic number one is hydrogen so symbol of hydrogen is capital H and since atomic number is one so electron and proton number is one and here neutron is zero and atomic mass you can find by adding proton and neutron so here one plus zero is one so if you go on doing it then in this way you can find the details of first 20 elements so here what you have to remember is uh, if you know the atomic number then you know electron and proton number because they all are equal here you can see like example aluminum has 13 atomic number means electron also 13 proton also 13 similarly another example potassium atomic number is 19 means electron also 19 proton also 19 means atomic number electron number and proton number are always equal but uh, about neutron it can be equal in some cases and in some cases it can be unequal like example in hydrogen neutron is zero helium has two so it is equal equal here lithium is four beryllium is five boron is six and carbon is six nitrogen has seven oxygen has eight fluorine has ten 
and then neon uh, neon neon also has 10 neutron uh, sodium has uh, 12 neutron magnesium also has 12 aluminum has 14 silicon also has 14 phosphorus has 16 neutron sulfur also has 16 chlorine has 18 argon has 22 potassium has 20 and calcium also has 20 so if you know proton and neutron number of every element then you can know atomic mass so here you can see proton and neutron if you add them you can get atomic mass so 1 plus 0 is 1 2 plus 2 4 3 plus 4 7 4 plus 5 9 5 and 6 11 6 plus 6 12 7 and 7 14 in the same way 11 plus 12 23 13 plus 14 27 16 plus 16 32 18 plus 22 40 20 plus 20 is 40 so in this way you can find atomic mass by uh, adding proton and neutron and atomic number gives electron and proton number so atomic number if it is 6 means proton also 6 electron also 6 so uh, regarding neutron number uh, let's have the overview so if you check the neutron number of all these 20 elements one common thing you can find uh, you know that in most of the atoms what you will find is even number like example hydrogen 0 uh, helium is 2 lithium is 4 beryllium is exception okay it is odd so this you remember beryllium is 5 always and boron is again uh, even number carbon is even number nitrogen is another exception so 7 so 5 and 7 till now we have found exception beryllium and nitrogen where they have uh, neutron number 5 and 7 respectively oxygen 8 fluorine 10 neon also 10 sodium has 12 magnesium has 12 aluminum has 14 silicon has 14 phosphorus 16 sulfur 16 chlorine 18 argon it had jumped uh, a bit more so it has become 22 again 20 and 20 so here whenever you uh, want to guess number of neutron then just you go one step ahead if it is odd number like example see sodium has 11 proton so as i told you normally neutron is even number so what is the one plus one just uh, step above the 11 even number is 12 so 12 is already even number so it will be same 13 aluminum has 13 protons so what is the even number next to it is 14 so in this way you can guess except argon argon have 18 means uh, it should have 18 but actually here it is 20 so these odd and uh, abnormal you need to remember otherwise in general number of neutron is even number so in this way uh, we want to conclude here and uh, if you check orbit and cell then orbit is orbit or cell what you can see these are the space around the nucleus of atom where these electrons are found revolving and uh, the cell orbit which is nearest to nucleus that orbit is called k cell and then it will be followed by l, l cell m cell m cell o, o cells and so on and the first cell carry two electrons the first cell has capacity to carry two electrons and after first cell the remaining all the cell cells they can carry eight electrons so here, here is some example like hydrogen suppose in exam you will be asked to draw atomic structure of hydrogen so first of all you need to know the detail so hydrogen atomic number is one symbol is h so if you know atomic number then electron and proton is same and neutron is zero so atomic mass is proton and neutron summing up so it will be one and at the center proton and neutron lie so here symbol of proton is p plus equal to one neutron is zero here and proton and electron are always equal so here proton one means electron also one so first orbit can carry two but it has only one electron that's why there's no issue of uh, more electrons helium atomic number is two symbol is yachi and since atomic number is two means electron and proton will be two and here neutron number is equal and atomic mass we can uh, get by adding proton and neutron so 2 and 2 is 4 so let's follow the same method so this is nucleus of atom and at the nucleus you will find proton and neutron number proton is 2 neutron is 2 and proton and electrons are always equal so that's why here 1 and here 1 and this is the first orbit and then its maximum capacity is to carry 2 electrons and it has 2 electrons that's why 
both electrons can fit in the same orbit and whenever you draw the electrons always try to draw the maximum distance apart because two electrons will never you know like uh, draw we, we should never draw together the reason is if we draw two electrons here together then what may happen is this figure will be wrong of course and the reason is two electrons both electrons carry negative charge and you know that uh, a similar charge they repel that's why they want to go far from each other that's why whenever you draw electrons always keep maximum distance apart now let's go to potassium so atomic number is 19 symbol is k and since atomic number is 19 means electron and proton are 19 and here neutron is 20 so atomic mass you can get by adding proton neutron so 19 plus 20 is 39 so let's uh, check the structure of atom of potassium so at the center nucleus is there so proton is 19 so here is 2 so please make it 19 and neutron is 20 so first orbit can carry only two electrons so here is two now remaining are 18 sorry 17 because it has 19 electrons out of 19 two are drawn here already so 17 are remaining now second orbit as i told you except first orbit remaining orbits they can carry only eight electrons so let's go on filling up so second orbit uh, can take eight electrons so eight and two means ten still we have seven more uh, electrons remaining uh, sorry nine more remaining and third orbit it also can carry eight electrons but we have nine electrons so that means eight electrons all can fit here now we have one electron left and that one, one electron will draw in the last orbit and this is the atomic structure of potassium so in this way we can draw the atomic structure of potassium hope uh, you can draw atomic structure of first 20 elements with this thank you so much